quo. What are you doing, you crazy girl? I'm gonna get my wife when she comes out of shower. This is the truth as if she really loves me. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miro and today we're gonna be showing you top takedowns from July 2022. And as you guys can already tell, it's gonna get pretty crazy. That was our Ibira Pura Soretama and I'm gonna show you the rest of the video after a couple of quick announcements. One of the announcements is that I'm getting a new camera, so I'm super excited. And it's not gonna be just for my macro pictures, but it's also gonna be for slow motion footage. I'll be able to do 240 frames per second. Uh, 1080 resolution which means I'll be able to go eight times slower at 1080 so that is really awesome and for my pictures it's gonna mean that I'm going from like 10 years old technology to brand new basically modern most recent technology you can find and I'm switching from Olympus Mark II to Olympus OM1 so super exciting regarding spiders we're gonna do a bunch of breeding projects so I really hope they're gonna work out we have a GBB lined up we have Afonopelma moderatum which is probably the most beautiful tarantula from the United States and I just got a female and I have a male ready to go so I'm conditioning the female getting her ready and then bunch of true spiders I have an exec from Piloctanus, which is the red fang wandering spiders. I'm waiting for my DRDs to get a little bigger because the last exec we just nothing came out of it and of course my tiger beetles and a bunch of other little projects so this is super exciting. All right let's go back to Iberapura Soretama because this girl she's pretty crazy. This girl just molted and that's a Iberapura Soretama. She's not even being like shy. I opened, the, I opened her habitat and she just doesn't care. She's hungry. Let's try again. There you go. Oi! Whoa! What are you doing, you crazy girl? You are really hungry. Now we just need to get you back home. I don't know if you guys remember, she's the one who escaped on me. She's a bit cuckoo head, to be honest. So I'm hoping that she's gonna take it down herself. Inside. I'm gonna get my wife when she comes out of shower. This is the truth as if she really loves me. If she freaks out, I don't know guys. I'm totally joking. But I'm still gonna get her because I think she's not gonna freak out. She's gonna find it really interesting. Mi amor? Yes. You wanna see something cool? Yeah. It's a surprise. Come here. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> she bolted out on me. Oh my goodness. No, 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 not there. We need you to go down here. Mm -hmm. And moving on from crazy to crazy, here is a juvenile Piloctanus wandering spider and this is slow motion and these guys are kind of mean I wanna say. <laughs> I'll show you I have another clip of the adult later on in this video. And here we got a Hogna Lenta white and this is a wolf spider. This is also a slow motion. After this I'll show you the real speed and I also have another clip. Look at that flip. How cool is that? This is why these are some of my favorite spiders to feed and I also have baby Hogna Medeiros and this is the real speed right now pretty cool. Next is one of my favorite true spiders, Holconi amurensis. I tried with a couple of my other huntsmen but I just couldn't get it. But in the end there is a little bit of uh, footage of Barilastis scutatus as well so I'll try to make it till the end guys. A lot of cool feeding videos. There we go. That's it. That's my boy. That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Get it. Get that roach. <laughs> I also made a video on what I think is the best enhancement for beginners and this is the one that came to number one in my list and for obvious reasons 
you guys just saw you know it's uh, really easy to feed like tongue feed it's a lot more mellow than all the other huntsmen I wanna say the only downside is they're not available so like I said we're gonna try to get a female and I hope that we'll be able to pair them up and get some babies in a hobby and here is a Linotella sericata Colombian funnel web spider. I'll show you one more clip later on. This is after the molt, but they so diabolical looking, but also really cool. Really like them. And here I'm trying to lure out my jumping spider to grab a cockroach. Come on, little mama. Wow, you missed from that close. There we go. Nice, great job after all. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, you're gonna come out and show us, show us what you got. Next we got our athlete look huddle, Albi Polosum. <laughs> Curly hair tarantula, I'm still learning how to say it. Wow, look at that bolt, so cool. She is really awesome because she's a very curious spider. Every time I open the enclosure, she hides, but then she immediately comes out and she's like, what's going on here, what's going on? Let me see. Oh yeah, here's the second prom is wandering spider clip and this is the adult female and she's just kind of lazily and casually grabbing the cockroach But trust me, she can thread pose <laughs> Next is just a silly little footage of our Brahipelma Bomi and that's a female that just molted And I thought she's gonna just be like on it because she's always so hungry She's just a, such a predator. She's always just bolting for food and this time she was just a little too slow But I let you guys watch it Pretty cool, huh? Good size. These guys love to eat too. Here's the malt. Let's take it. Let's take it, but not use our hands because she is hungry. She might charge across. Okay, cool. Nice. Tupia. Falling. Too slow, girl. Too slow. I had to speed up this part because it was ridiculous. We were fighting over the cork bark with the spider and the roach was hiding in the bag. I just couldn't get him out. That was pretty funny. But eventually it worked out. There he is. Yeah. But the spider still didn't know and then the roach didn't want to let go of the cork bark. But eventually we got it. Yes, the dinner happened. this is feeding of our male GBB and I don't really feed him very often because he's adult right now and I'm trying to save him for our female that we conditioning currently because they need kind of like a replica of replicating of a rainy season so right now I'm uh, misting her enclosure a lot even though this is a species that likes it dry I'm trying to replicate the you know the rainy season as I said so hopefully it works out she already ate one male um, when when we bought her from like one spider shop they told me that she ate their old man so I hope she does not gonna eat our poor Kenny so wish me guys good luck we're feeding her we're doing our best and I'm keeping them next to each other and I'm hoping to actually see some sort of action pretty soon hopefully we're gonna see some tapping if not we're still gonna give it a shot because this guy is getting old This is a feeding of another wolf spider, Hogna Medeiras, so formerly Hogna Schmitzi. This is a slow motion and these guys get pretty big and they're gonna have their front legs are gonna be yellow. And this is a real speed, a really cool spider. Here is my freshly molted Theraposa apophysis. It's a kind of tiny sling. So after the mold I like to give them something nice and nutritious like this dubia roach. So hopefully she'll come out for it. We get to see her. Yeah, there she is. Oh. Wow, she looks amazing. She freaked out from the roach, but whoa. And for those of you who made it all the way here, here is one more Linotella feeding, also slow motion. I really love like how they go like upside down basically back, so funny. And here we got another Hogna. Another wolf spider, also slow motion. These guys are so cool, look at that. They always so like ferocious, they just do backflips, whatever, you know, they just wanna grab the food and they are so precise, they never miss. 
Thank you guys for watching, we're almost done. Here is my Barilastis scutatus. Sorry, I had to think about it for a little bit. And the footage is a little bit dark. I'm gonna be getting a new camera soon. I'll probably talk about it in the intro too. And that I haven't recorded yet, but yeah, the lighting and everything should get much better. But I haven't showed the spider yet, so I really wanted to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button, yada, yada, yada. If you guys want to support our channel, check out our store at spidercafe.shop. This is one of our hats. We also have a bunch of t-shirts and tank tops and hoodies and all that you can find and all that you can print on, basically. And yeah, that is it from me, and I'll see you soon. All right, ciao.